What's up, Tube Tube? Welcome back to Lego Guido's Chop Shop, second best job bastard channel on the tubes. And tonight I've got a RMR to review. And this is the little box that comes in. Now I've had a bunch of RMRs in the past, but I've bought this one recently just because uh, it looked different. It looked sort of different to uh, most of the RMRs I've seen. Um, it comes with three different size allen keys and a bunch of different size screws and a little adjustment um, tool for your elevation and windage which is metal a lot of them come with plastic ones which are not that great and it also comes with a mounting plate to mount to one specific type of slide um, so it's a common one, so if you've got that one, that's that's good. But if you don't, you need to get one that fits it. It's also got a um, pick rail mount on it, so you can mount it on a rail mount or um, on a canted mount on the side there. It's got a little rubber um, koozie to keep it safe. But here's, here's the cool bit. This is the bit that uh, I haven't seen before. Look at this guy. It just looks a little bit different to your uh, regular RMRs. It's still basically the same unit, the same type of thing. But it's got these chamfered edges. And it's got some sort of serrations on there. I think it just it just looks it's got some EOTech branding on top. Just looks a little bit different to most of the RMRs I've seen so far. You've got your uh, elevation adjustment there windage adjustment there feels nice with this little tool as well fits in there nicely let's turn it on and uh, see what it looks like you can see you got your nice big plus on here and your minus on here so you just press plus uh, until you see the oh, this is interesting I wonder if this if, if the cam if it's going to be able to show up on the camera I'll see if I can get a shot where we're looking through it all right who thought this would be a royal pain in the butt to get a shot where you can see the red dot you can sort of see it But uh, yeah, you know, you guys know how these work. When you move it around, you can see the red dot through the optic. This is a very interesting. Uh, this is a very in interesting uh, focus arrangement I've got here. When you can almost see, even though everything's out of focus except for the dot, it's pretty. It's interesting. Yeah, it's a nice little unit. Nice crisp little red dot in it. Um, something different. If you're uh, used to the regular style of RMR that we always see. That's that one. In terms of function, I think they're about the same. Um, I think this, this new one just has a you know, a little bit of a sleeker look to it than uh, than this standard style that you, you see a lot of. Um, anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd grab that and do a quick little video on it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where you can pick one of these up. And uh, I'll put a link to that one as well. <laughs> Why not? If you're into that. Normal style 
RMI red dot. It does have a nice crisp looking red dot, but um, on the camera it kind of turns out a little bit washed out when I look down at it unless I focus it properly. Anyway, um, that's all for me tonight, just a quick one. Two nice little RMRs. Um, oh yeah. Shout outs to people who have bought me coffees. Shout outs to Pete DeGuara, Sander Vandergeer, Fabian F, Dazza the Kid, Robert Kilpatrick, and Adam Hoy. Thanks. Thanks heaps guys. Um, don't forget if you would like to buy me a coffee, there's a link down below to buy a coffee. And also you can hit me up on the Facebook page if you're interested in getting a patch. Um, all coffee dollars donated to a new gearbox for me to break in an upcoming video. <laughs> Alright, peace.